Hi guys. Okay, so here is um, interactive notebook pages 27 through 29. Um, if you have a workbook to do them in, um, you will find this on page 80 through 82. You will not need to do the challenge part. <clears throat> so go ahead and get your paper copy in front of you and pause the video as often as you need to. I'm going to start here at the top with the main ideas. So the first main idea is Han Dynasty government was based on the ideas of Confucius. Number two, family life was supported and strengthened in Han China. Number three, the Han made many achievements in art, literature, and learning. And number four, Buddhism spread to China along the trade routes from other lands. The next section here are the key terms and people, and this is um, an important section because this could be um, a spot where you gather or get information for one of your quizzes or the next quiz we take. So our first word here is sundial, and that is a device that uses the position of shadows cast by the sun to tell time. The next is seismograph, a device that measures the strength of an earthquake. Acupuncture, the practice of inserting needles through the skin at specific points to cure disease or relieve pain. <clears throat> Silk, a soft, light, highly valued fabric. And then diffusion, the spread of ideas, goods, and technology from one culture to another. All right, so before I read this first um, part of our reading, let's look at our question. On the right hand side here, what was one aspect of the Qin government that the Han changed? So that's what you're going to look for when we're reading. <clears throat> so the Han Dynasty government. After the end of the Qin Dynasty, Liu Bang won control of China. He lowered farmers' taxes and made punishment less severe. His government was based on that of the Qin. His successor, Wu Di, made Confucianism the official government policy. A person had to pass a test based on Confucianism to get a government job. So, again, what was one aspect of the Qin government that the Han changed? Again, pause the video if you need to take a some time to write your answer or find your answer and then write your answer and then just hit play when you're ready. The next section, family life. So I'm going to read this box here on the right hand side. The first, this is what you're going to do. You don't have a, an answer to write. You're going to underline the sentence that explains why Confucian thinking devalues merchants. So what sentence explains why Confucian thinking devalues merchants? All right, here we go. A class structure took hold during Han rule. Peasants were the second class in the Confucian system. Merchants were the lowest class because they only brought, bought and sold what others made. This social division did not indicate wealth, though. Peasants were still poor and merchants were still rich. Again, you're looking for the sentence that explains why Confucian thinking devalues merchants. <clears throat> the next section, you're going to underline the sentence that explains why women could become heads of family. During Wu Di's reign, children were taught to respect their elders, and the father had absolute power. <clears throat> Chinese parents valued boys more highly than girls. Some women, however, gained power and could influence their sons' families. An older widow might become the head of the family. Again, what sentence explains which, how women could become heads of families? Our next section is Han Achievements. So the first question that you're going to look for is which Han Dynasty invention made books possible? During Han rule, art and literature thrived and inventors developed many useful devices. Artists painted portraits, poets developed new styles of verse, 
a historian, wrote a history of China up to the Han Dynasty. The Han Chinese also invented paper. Another innovation were the uh, other in, in a, sorry guys, other innovations were the sundial, the seismograph, and the Chinese medical practice of acupuncture. These and other Han inventions and advances are still used today. So in here, what happened in the Han Dynasty or what invention in the Han Dynasty made books possible? You'll find it in that first paragraph. Second paragraph, our next question first is why do you think it was important to keep the silk production process a secret? Advances in manufacturing, such as the iron plow and wheelbarrow, increased productivity. Silk production also increased. Weavers used foot-powered looms to weave fabric. Silk garments were expensive. The Chinese were determined to keep their process for making silk a secret. So why? It doesn't say it right here. Why do you think they would want to keep that silk production process a secret? You have to use some of your inferencing skills there. Think about this. <clears throat> okay, our next section, Buddhism comes to China. The question that you're going to answer is why did Buddhism become popular in China? Over time, the Han government became less stable. Buddhism seemed to offer more hope than Confucianism or Taoism. It offered a rebirth and a relief from suffering. Buddhism caught on in China with both the poor and the upper classes. Buddhism's introduction to China is an example of diffusion, the spread of ideas from one culture to another. Chinese culture changed in response to it. So again, why did Buddhism become popular in China? All right, your last page. First section, you're going to write a word or phrase to describe the term given, and you can use your definitions from the key terms and people boxes here, okay? So you're going to give me um, a phrase or the definition for acupuncture, seismograph, sundial, diffusion, and soap. And again, you can pause while you do this and then hit play when you're ready to go to the next section. The middle section here, you're going to read each sentence and fill in the blank with the word pair that best completes the sentence. So number six, blank became the first Han emperor by winning control of China after the fall of the Qin dynasty. Was that Wu Di or Lu Yi Bang? <coughs> Go back to your reading, um, which will be on the first page, um, this first um, paragraph that where you can find that answer. Number seven, under the blank dynasty, the Chinese made advances, advances in art, literature, medicine, and science. Is that under the Qin dynasty or the Han dynasty? Again, you're going to go back to um, the second page and you're going to look at um, the achievements. Number eight, the, the spread of ideas, goods, and technology from one culture to another is blank. Is that diffusion or innovation? And you should be able to use your key terms in people box um, for the um, answer to this one. And then number nine, a soft, light, highly valued fabric is called what? Is that silk or acupuncture? Again, you can go back into the reading and find the words um, or use the key terms in people box. And then the final section here, you're going to look at each set of three vocabulary terms and then on the line provided, write the number of the term that does not relate or connect to the other terms. So for number 10, your three words are acupuncture, paper, or great wall. Which one of those do not belong? Which one was not talked about in this 
this um, lesson. Number 11, Buddhism, diffusion, or Liu Bang? Which one does not belong? And then number 12, your last one, Han, Chin, Iron Plow. Again, which one does not belong? Two are similar and one is completely different idea or topic. All right, when you are done, make sure you go back into the Google Classroom and submit it and also do a comment, a personal comment that you completed it on paper. All right, good luck, guys.